Welcome back. Well, shares of British biopharmaceutical company GW Pharmaceuticals up more than 100% today, a doubling. Our Meg Terrell is back at CNBC Global Headquarters with a look at the reasons why. Hi, Meg. Hey, Kelly. Well, the reason why is cannabis, but probably not in the way you might think. GW Pharma develops drugs, and they say based on these results, they're starting to have conversations with the FDA about filing for potential approval. But if you look at the share price over the last year, you do see that it kind of went down into these data, uh, showing really a lot of skepticism about it. We talked to the CEO, Justin Glow. Uh, Gover earlier today. Take a listen to what he said. This is a momentous event for our company and for this product, which is probably the most important clinical event in our company's history. It not only reinforces the potential for Epidiolex or CBD in the field of epilepsy, but validates the concept of cannabinoid medicines and their potential within, the, within modern medicine. Well, we have one stock that has doubled here on the open, GW Pharma. It is trading back above $80, so we're not talking about a biotech penny stock that's doubled, but really a truly significant stock doubled its market cap on the news that the company's key marijuana drug has met a primary endpoint in an advanced stage study, basically showing that it reduces convulsive seizures in, uh, seizures in children with epilepsy. Uh, in its first major clinical trial, it significantly reduced convulsive seizures. The drug is produced from the part of marijuana that does not get you high. It happened in the first major clinical trial of the drug Epidiolex, which is made from an extract that does not intoxicate people. If it wins regulatory approval, the medicine would be the first prescription drug in the United States derived from marijuana. First of several final phase three clinical trials found that the drug helped patients achieve a median 39 percent reduction in monthly convulsive seizures. The drug is given in syrup form. We're very excited about this for lots of reasons, but one, it's the first major attempt in the United States to get a medication approved for children like Kaysen. Her doctor is Angus Wilfong at Texas Children's Hospital. He says the results for Dravet syndrome were significant. The drug reduced severe seizures by 39 percent compared to a reduction on placebo of 13 percent. In a medication trial for epilepsy, that's really as, as good as any medicine ever is. So uh, the results were very strongly positive. Remember that these are some of, these children have some of the hardest to treat seizures that there are. On average, these kids were still on three medications when this medication was added on top of it. So a 39, nearly 40% seizure reduction is significant. Uh, so there is a huge unmet need for children with Dravet, as well as other children with refractory epilepsy, uh, for effective and safe and well-tolerated treatments. Later.